Did you just uppercut that hippo and you're going to throw him? What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. Today, we are reacting to Sabikui Bisco. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Sabikui Bisco episodes one and two. I really like this show. It's different. I I do like post-apocalyptic kind of stuff where something horrible happened to an area, but I do like to see the after effects, like how people handle it, what's going on, and this one looks like a mix of a lot of stuff like it's so intriguing so yeah we're gonna watch one and two we're gonna have the chapter marker so if you already saw one you can just go to the chapter marker for two so let's get to it What is that in the middle? Is that a body? What the heck happened? I can't even tell if a missile hit them or the meteor landed there or a body landed there because it looked like something like landed, caused an like, explosion, and then stood up. Wait, I thought we were in Japan. Or was that like just a general area? Man eating mushroom. Wanted for a hundred thousand. Does he really eat people though? Oh, it is Tokyo, so it is Japan. Akaboshi. Bisco. He has Bisco in his, in his name. But how do you turn your place into a mushroom mountain? Buying and selling mushrooms? Okay, Mushroom Mountain. Buying and selling mushrooms. I 
Are we at a brothel? Is she a mama son? Okay, that sounded wrong. Is she working behind that curtain? It won't hurt? Oh, it's just a doctor's visit. So there's a rusty wind and people rust. I have a story after this. Eat a mushroom and get a taste of heaven before they die? I wonder if his buddy is, um, that guy who made the Mushroom Mountain. Sujin's finger. Mushroom Keeper? What's a Mushroom Keeper? I want to have fun. <laughs> Do y'all want to be with the doctor? Doctor, doctor. How? Panda coon. It's because he has, like, a birthmark on his eye, making him look like a panda. You know, in Beastars, the panda was a doctor. Alligator meat?
You're getting mushrooms? Wow. Is he working with the guy who made the mushroom mountain? Is he working with the mushroom keeper? No, he can't be working with the mushroom keeper because wouldn't that mean that he can get mushrooms directly from a mushroom keeper? I'm very intrigued. Oh, he's keeping it a secret from her. Drug synthesizer. Okay, so he's got a lot of mushrooms there. How come he had to be all sneaky sneaky about the mushrooms he just got. Oh, he, he's a mushroom keeper. There's just so much information being given. <laughs> Is that a snail? That's a big crab. Mushroom terror attacks. Man eating mushroom. Poison against poison.
Oh. Oh, he really is a man. I was like, wait, he's a woman? Ooh. He's treating it. The stinger's still in the womb. Mm-hmm, advertise. Why are they wearing happy bunny masks? The one flower blooming in the city. Kurokawa. Does he like Pandakun? The captain. His sister is the captain? Those without money die. Just like that kid earlier. <laughs> that Kurokawa guy was pressuring him hard. It looked like Pandakun was in trouble. Is that the biscuit dude? He's wearing a a bowl on his back. I'm assuming he's covering his face with all those thingy bobs to hide his identity. Mm-hmm. Bows. Oh. Prevent you from feeling the weight of killing. Isn't that the same bow? The spores or you'll or you'll rust? Are they saying that the mushrooms cause the rust? But if that's true... Yeah. 
Yo, the music is on fire. That dude just utilized the mushrooms to pop up in the air. Oh, the captain's gonna go to work. What is that on her head? Is that like a head guard? I'm getting bleach vibes. I was gonna say, if the whole mushroom thing is true, wouldn't panda -kun be resting? Mmm. Both siblings are stubborn. Oh. He just, she just knocked him out. I wonder if she's going to be a key character. <gasps> Bisco! He's like, it's Bisco! Or... I'd like to hear a sultra. Okay, so are they gonna reveal that this was Bisco? Ooh, he made a sign. Oh, he's replying back to when that guy critiqued his name. Yo! Who are you calling a man-eater? Dang! So it was Bisco. Oh man, what a good suspense. But you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> he threatened three people already. Cargo? That snail? Operate! What's that tattoo under his eye? Do it in ten.
They know he's at Panda Clinic. Boy, they don't care about Panda Coon jerks. I thought they knew that Kurokawa wants him. Oh, did the synthesizer get destroyed? Nope, it looks like it's still good. <laughs> I like how Pentagon's like, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Blooming. Ooh, that's a cool term. The mushrooms are blooming. Wake up, Octagawa? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hippos? Hippos? I didn't know hippos could run that fast. That's crazy. But for reals, why mushrooms? Why is Bisco so strong? Bye bye, clinic. <laughs> He's like, I told you beforehand. Like, it's okay because he said beforehand what he was going to do. Oh, he's using those mushrooms at the, as diversions. That's smart. If we can see her resting through her clothes, does that mean it's sheer in her outfit over there? Iguana Calvary. What do you guys think about, like, the back and forth before they went over that wall and after? Three, two, one. Yo, that hippo jaw. Did you just... Uppercut that hippo, and you're gonna throw him? That 
big ass crab went flying over the wall. Yeah, that much is obvious. <laughs> Yeah, she's being serious. That bullet and arrow was deadly. Why does he want to beat the watch? Something shady is happening. Mobster governor, that is perfect. You got her to take the meds? What were in the meds? Was it like bad meds or was it good meds? What is going on? Are they eating mushrooms? Oh, the old man is resting too. And he's dying. Bat from Iron Mice. Ugh. Just slurp in one gulp. Mushroom control.
Oh, he doesn't want to act like he's dying. He's like, you're gonna live. Don't... Don't talk like that. Aww. It's interesting, they have the crab making like creaking sounds. But seriously, why is there a snail on the plane? It's going to spew! Ooh. Wait, but she said his arrows did work. What the heck just grabbed his ankle? What was that? Was that planned? Oh, is he going to use that thing to... hit the plane thingy? Oh, dang, he's going to be mad. Yep, he is mad. He poked a hole through it. Okay, is that fuel or is that blood? Is that blood from the snail creature? Oh, I hope he gets saved in this episode. That means he's a tough guy. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean he can't? But what if you guys get caught while you're treating him? Okay, he made a very good argument. Yes, take care of Jobby. He's like, I'll make sure to heal you. Oh, cute. He said that so bashful, like, Arigato. <laughs> and the old man heard that. <laughs> he saw it all.
Oh, the panda clinic. Mm. What you going to do, Captain? Where are you going to go? There's three different places to go. She's like, I'm going to die anyway. My brother's in trouble. What the heck? Ooh. You better hope he doesn't find out you were flying to Escargo. Yo, this is giving me Final Fantasy VII vibes! <laughs> that pink hair chick is just sneaking away. She's like, you got my brother! Dang! Yo, episode one and two were great. One was definitely a build up, like really grabbing your attention, putting those breadcrumbs here and there, and making you like wonder, think, and whatnot. Oh gosh. And then the reveal, they show Bisco at the end of the episode, and you're like, okay, how did you get there? And then. It like reverts back to the monk at the checkpoint and then it's like, oh, he has the same bow as Bisco that you've been seeing. They're like giving like little hints here and there. And then it's revealed that the monk that was covering his face kind of shady like was Bisco and he was mad. He was mad that his name was being <laughs> critiqued. He's like, I'm not a man eater. And say, say sorry, Bisco. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Oh, I really like this show. It's, oh, it's really good. And in the opening, they're showing that Panda Coon is going to work with Bisco. And the old man, Jobby, Jobby, um, it seems like he's dying. So I'm wondering if Panda Kun is going to um, inherit Jobby's arrow. And Jobby did say that Bisco's not very good at synthesizing mushrooms. So I'm wondering if Jobby is going to ask Panda Kun to work with Bisco since Panda Kun can synthesize mushrooms, especially with that equipment that he got from Kurokawa. Mm hmm, that mobster governor. Very interesting that in this area, it's corrupted. They have a corrupt governor, and there's like a little discord between the watch, which is Panakun's sister's thing. She's the captain of the watch, and Kurokawa's um, elite forces, I think he was calling them, the one with the bunny masks, which is kind of weird. Anyways, uh... Uh, I wonder how many episodes we're going to be in this area. But what do you guys think about this? What did you think about episode one and two? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash the Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel, reacting to Sabikui Bisco, episode 1 and 2. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters!